Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa remotely met the Ambassador of Tunisia to Bahrain, Salem Ghariani, to mark the end of the Ambassador's service in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted the steady growth of ties between Bahrain and Tunisia, commending the Ambassador's efforts in further strengthening and developing joint cooperation and coordination benefiting both countries. Regional and international issues of common interest were also discussed, and His Royal Highness wished Ghariani success in his future duties. Ghariani expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and for his continued support to further bolstering Bahraini-Tunisian relations and wish the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, a ceremony was held to inaugurate Bahrain's warships, namely the RBNF, Al Zabara, Al Arin, Mashhur, Al Daybal, Askar, Jaw, Al Had, and Taghlib, marking the 53rd anniversary of the Beatty establishment in the presence of a number of senior officials and ministers. His Majesty the King deputized the Beatty of Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa to attend the ceremony. Upon arrival, he was received by the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, the Chief of Staff Major General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, the Under Secretary of the Defense Ministry, Lieutenant General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and a number of senior BDF officers. Following the national anthem, the Beatty of Commander inspected the Guards of Honor, and following the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, the Commander of the Royal Bahrain Naval Force delivered a speech on the occasion. Then the BDF Commander-in-Chief received a commemorative gift from the Commander of RBNF. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed inaugurated Bahrain's patrol warship Al Zabara and raised Bahrain's mast on Al Zabara, Al Arin, and Mashhur ships as well as other warships. He toured various sections of Al Zabara ship, which is equipped with advanced combat weapons. He also inspected Mashhur and Al Arin ships as well as others. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa affirmed that the development of RBNF is a result of the directives and follow up of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The BDF Commander in chief added that RBNF has become based on the latest foundations and military methods and systems and is equipped with various weapons and developed equipment and systems. It has also become able to defend the country and provide the necessary protection for all its islands, territories, as well as regional and economic waters. He stated that the BDF during the era of His Majesty the King has increased its combat and administrative readiness and has become advanced in the field of preparation and training. It has also achieved quantum leaps and modern weaponry system and advanced combat preparation. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed asserted that the BDF's honorable record is to replete with achievements has paved the way for its development. He held the role of the BDF members who defended the country and protected the security and stability of the region, recalling with pride the achievements of the country's martyrs.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council chaired the weekly meeting where she expressed congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. She also praised the sports achievements in the Kingdom following the National Sports Day and hailed the directors of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The council then approved a draft law reg draft laws regarding working the private sector law, housing and increasing the punishment for those in the medical profession who refrain from reporting suspected crimes when examining patients. After that, the council approved a number of proposals including issuing a statement on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter, the government allowing citizens to obtain a medical certificate stating that they are unaffected by the virus and allowing them to travel once a month through the free random testing, presenting a new financial package to support closed sectors due to the continuous of precautionary measures to confront the pandemic and supporting the salaries of national workers and companies by 50% of February, March and April for the most affected companies. The Education Ministry celebrated the fifth edition of the Sports Day by implementing many sports activities and competitions while adhering to social distancing. Officials, employees and school students participated massively in the event, which were held remotely. In a statement marking the occasion, Education Minister Dr. Majid al naimi lauded the sports and youth achievements attained by Bahrainis at various competitions during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King and thanks to the interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the youth and sports sector. The minister praised the various programs and initiatives launched by the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports under the chairmanship of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in coordination with Bahrain Olympic Committee led by His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, held a meeting with Belgium's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sophie Williams, as part of his visit to Brussels. During the meeting, Dr. Al Zayani affirmed the depth of ties between the two countries in light of the keenness of both kingdoms to enhance bilateral ties to serve joint interests. He also affirmed the importance of exchanging official visits between officials and continuing political discussions to develop ties and cooperation in many fields of common interest. For her part, Belgium's Deputy Prime Minister welcomed Dr. Dr. Zayani's visit to meet European Union officials, hailing the course of ties between Bahrain and Belgium. She affirmed the keenness of her country to continue enhancing bilateral relations, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. They also discussed a number of topics and affairs of common interest. The meeting was attended by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Under Secretary for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Bahrain's ambassador to Belgium and to the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg and to the NATO Dr. Bahia Jishi and the ministers accompanying delegation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, met at the European Parliament's headquarters with the Chairman of the European Parliament Foreign Affairs Committee, David McAllister. In light of his visit to Brussels, the Foreign Affairs Minister hailed the cooperation between Bahrain and European Parliament, affirming the importance of developing Parliament relations and the exchange of expertise between the two sides to bolster the role of parliamentary diplomacy and increasing joint understanding. He reviewed the means of developing relations, asserting Bahrain's keenness on utilizing the European parliamentary experience and bolstering its diplomatic march and for his part McAllister affirmed the keenness of the European Parliament in strengthening bilateral relations and the exchange of visits and coordination to achieve the two countries aspirations. He commended the Kingdom's vital role in establishing peace, security and stability in the region, wishing Bahrain continuous progress and prosperity. The Foreign Affairs Under Secretary for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Bahrain's Ambassador to Belgium and the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg and Denmark, Dr. Bahia Jawad Al Jishi, as well as the Minister's accompanying delegation attended the meeting.
Bahrain celebrates the National Sports Day, which was launched in 2017 as an annual initiative in the GCC to promote the culture of sports. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, this year's Sports Day activities are held virtually to ensure the safety of all. This year, in its fifth edition, the National Sports Day is receiving special care and attention due to the pandemic. Sports activities receive a great care and support from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and His Majesty always directs to further develop the youth and sports sectors in the kingdom. The National Sports Day is participated by ministries, officials, government agencies, institutions, citizens and residents. The national vac vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that the total number of individuals who have taken the vaccine has reached 201,116. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,032 with 461 recoveries, 719 registered new cases and 4 deaths. 323 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 384 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel related. The deceased were an 80-year-old male citizen, a 66-year-old female citizen, a 66-year-old and 38-year-old male expatriates. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.